Part of what we do here is sort of point out when the wider media is getting something wrong. That's about half our mission, and the other half of our mission is, is the stuff the wider media doesn't cover. And so we try to cover as much of that as possible. Trump made a couple of comments that we think have been taken out of context from this immigration roundtable. There could be an MS-13 gang member I know about. If they don't reach a certain threshold, I cannot tell ICE about them. We have people coming into the country or trying to come in. We're stopping a lot of them. But we're taking people out of the country. You wouldn't believe how bad these people are. These aren't people. These are animals. So we're going to put on the White House press briefing to see what happens. What are the moments that we're going to clip? What are we expecting? I hope someone asks about Trump's animals comment because he was talking about MS-13. So you think they're still going to ask him that? They can't possibly be that stupid. If they are, that's my story, so. <laughs> oh, here we go. Turn it on. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, we'll move forward in the process and make a determination at that point. John? Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. That was linked to Maktara El Sadr. <laughs> he pronounces the names of world leaders with such diction. Mugatu Bumbapu. What do you think? Exclusive Newsmax. See so many people in the country have been talking about it in the last 24 hours. What did the president mean when he said some immigrants are not people, they're animals? There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, the president was very clearly referring to MS-13 gang members who enter the country illegally and whose deportations are hamstrung by our laws. Uh, frankly, I don't think the term that the president used was strong enough. Oh, oh she yes. doubles down. Uh, it took an animal to stab a man a hundred times and decapitate him and rip his heart out. Wow. Obviously clipping that, right? Yeah, yeah I got it. Okay, all right. Grab the video and tweet it out, please. They're so hung up on it. Why would you relate uh, honest immigrants to animals? Nobody does that. Only these people are doing it. And it's so wrong, it's so bad. And then you know that the Spanish news networks are gonna run with it all day long. Trump compares people to animales, ah! Like it's gonna go, I mean, that's probably what, it, I didn't watch the Spanish channel last night. But I do watch a lot of Spanish channel and that's what they do. They, they hang on to one word the president says and then accuse him of being Let's racist. get it on the site, please. Yeah, I'm on it. How would you generally characterize the mainstream media? What do they miss and what do they get wrong? Can you talk about that a little bit, any of you? So much of the press seems to have the same exact selection bias. You know, we constantly joke about like, God, how hard must it be to have a CNN editorial meeting? You just come in and you talk about the same exact story every day. Like there's actually no new information really. It's like you talk about Stormy, yeah, like literally every day. What are we doing in the A block? Oh, we have Avenatti. Okay, what are you doing in your A block? We have Avenatti. So <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. The media, as soon as they're thrown something in that direction, they just pick it up and run with it. They think, okay, Donald Trump just called Mexicans animals. That's what they think. And that's what everyone repeats incorrectly. The media who already think that Donald Trump is a racist, it's confirming the bias. That's exactly the kind of story that we pounce on. You know, the Russia story. The whole investigation deserves scrutiny that it hasn't gotten from the mainstream press. So what, we, what kind of scrutiny that it hasn't gotten? In the New York Times version, for instance, of the beginnings of the Trump-Russia investigation, they buried the fact the government itself was spying on the Trump campaign. That's baked into the New York Times piece. And if we had that news, that would be the lead on the story. That's the kind of thing that deserves to be surfaced and emphasized because people deserve to know that. So some of your critics would say that you're just carrying water for the president. Mm -hmm. You're just basically reflecting his message, whatever it is. It's not that you, America needs more opinionated stories. It's that there are many stories that aren't being covered, or when they are being covered, they're not being covered fairly. Critics who accuse us of carrying water don't read The Daily Caller. If you read The Daily Caller, you'd have a very good sense of where we are, and it's not to be in anybody's political corner. Mm -hmm. That's some of our function is to continuously just push back on these false narratives. It's like pursuing a football on the football field. You want to go to where it's going. You don't want to go to where it is. Traditional broadcast media, that's where things were. And we want to go to where things are going. <laughs>